Question 15. Schlagerlegenden, a table tennis sporting supply company, has recently deployed Veeam backup and replication with a standard edition license. An auditor is insisting on a spot check verification that no corruption has occurred to a backup of a virtual machine containing a standalone database server. How should the backup administrator proceed? Okay, so first of all, I, I noticed the standard edition license up here, but I also noticed that the uh, actual ask is, uh, of course, verification, but to check that we don't have any corruption. So this is definitely uh, some, some key information here. First option, deploy a virtual lab, create application group, contain the database server, then create and run a sure backup job. Well, this sounds good until we got to the fact that first of all, they can't do this with a standard edition. Secondly, they only ask to check for corruption, not uh, boot checks and, and so on. Perform a restore using the extract utility, then point the Veeam extract validator exit to these files. Yeah, this is uh, not uh, definitely not a, a, a option that uh, exists, but uh, just to be certain, we can always um, go in and do a quick search. Uh, we see some reserves have been removed. Uh, yeah, not sure what that's about, but this is this is definitely not a real tool. And leverage the Veeam backup validator.exe. Well, having just looked at this one, which was clearly a, a fake, this one seems interesting. Uh, maybe it's also a fake. And verification is not possible unless the custom upgrades to Enterprise Edition are higher. Well, that would be an option to make the top answer here work. But uh, again, the no corruption is really what they were requesting, not full recovery testing. And then it says use the Veeam Backup DB Config Utility. So a lot of utilities are being mentioned here. Why don't we go and take a peek at this? Let's see, what is it? Oh, so this is a tool that actually exists and you might be tempted to now immediately pick this answer here. We see it's actually down here in the bottom. Uh, utilities, DB config utility. So what is this? Comes with Veeam backup DB config to manage connection settings for Veeam backup replication and or enterprise manager configuration database. With this utility, you can connect to a different database on the same, so on. So this is for changing the backup server's database connection. It has no purposes for testing backups or doing corruption checks of any kind. So this is wrong. This is definitely wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong, leaving only this. But of course, there's a risk that this could also be a fake. So let's go and take a look. Oh, so there is actually a Veeam backup validator. And if we take a peek, we can see this is uh, the actual file name. So uh, what, what is this really uh, kind of tool? Well, basically the idea here is that you can point this down to backup files and it will then check block by block by block if the checksums inside the backup match up with what the checksums were when the backup was originally produced. It doesn't tell you if it was a good backup per se, it just means that the backup file has no corruption at this point in time. If you really want to check if it was a good backup or not, then we would need to start upgrading up and going with, with this path here. But this was never really the ask from the uh, auditor here.